everyone. I'm so proud of myself for being up and actually kind of awake at this time in the morning. It is seven o'clock, which like isn't that early for me usually, but if you watched my last video where I did a bit of a life update, I told you guys I recently started on some medication for treating the anxiety I've been experiencing. And it's been like about three weeks since I've been on it. But one of the big side effects since going on it has been really being tired and I've been struggling to wake up quite a lot and that's been really quite frustrating because I wake up in the morning quite groggy so I've been hoping that that would go away and today I actually feel a lot better which is really good. I set my alarm for 6.30 and I got up and I was feeling a lot more like myself and yeah I'm going to go to the gym which I haven't done all week so I'm excited about that and then I'm going to go for brunch with my friend Jess afterwards so I have a feeling it's going to be a good day. I'm in a more positive mindset today which is really good and I'm also feeling really inspired. I've been having like a few ideas about like work stuff and just what I want to do with my business and yeah, I'm just kind of like pondering on those thoughts, but they're getting me excited, which is always like a nice feeling. Anyway, I feel like I never check in with you guys before I actually go to the gym. So maybe I'll plan my workout now. We can figure it out together. I'm going to insert the workout that I did the other day. I think I'm going to do this. I might even add a few extra like ab exercises into it, but I really enjoyed it. I've been enjoying doing a bit more like full body stuff lately, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. such nice breakfast with my friend Jess and we just sat and chat for like hours. We're going to Hawaii with our boyfriends and each other in a few weeks. So we had like lots to catch up on and yeah, it was really, really nice. It's such a dreary day today. Like it's pouring down with rain. So I was like, it would be kind of nice just to work at the cafe, but for some reason my 4G wasn't working. I don't know why, probably because of the weather. So I've come home to do a little bit of work now. I've just got a bit of laptop stuff. I need to do like emails and I've got a video to edit, but I think I'm going to try and get out in a little bit, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to just chill for a little bit, have a cup of tea. How cool's this little teacup? Brayden's mum, Melissa got it for me, I think for my birthday. And it's from T2. It's like this multi-purpose teacup so pretty much like you've got your little teapot and it can sit in your mug so i've just made like a tummy tea that's got licorice and peppermint in it which is like one of my favorite types of herbal teas oh my gosh while i'm sitting here with my laptop open i've just noticed that i still got open the personality test that i did the other day and you guys have to do this and if you do it please comment down below what personality type you are. I saw another YouTuber talk about this test and I was really like curious about it. It's called the 16 personalities test. <laughs> Sorry. That sneeze came out of nowhere. Yeah, it's the 16 personalities test and it's actually a pretty easy quiz to do. It took me like 15 minutes ish. Oh, it's another one. <laughs> it's never one sneeze. Anyway, my personality type is an advocate, which is apparently a very rare personality type, but it's really interesting because it tells you like your strengths and weaknesses, what your personality type is like in romantic relationships, friendships, parenthood, your career path, workplace habits, and just like an overall summary. Anyway, I found it really interesting and so spot on for me. It also gives you some percentages. So it says that I am 72% introverted which is very interesting to me. Like I know I'm introverted, but I'd still say I can be quite confident, but I do definitely need like time alone. I just found this test very interesting and I keep bringing it up in conversation with people being like, you should do it. I'm just like really curious to know your personality type. Like I wanna know my friend's personality types. It's kind of interesting. <laughs>
Still working away on my laptop, but I'm now having some lunch. I'm just having leftovers. We've just got some chicken, some roast vegetables and spinach. Hi. Do you want to say hi? It's been a while, hasn't it, Mr. Murphy boy? So I've come to my family's house. No one's here, which feels a little bit strange, but I think Lily's coming back in a minute because I was chatting to Lily and I was like, I'm so in the mood to like bake something just because it's been such a miserable day and I've been stuck at my laptop for like hours now. I think it's been five hours or something that I've been sitting down doing emails and stuff. Yeah, big yawn. Yeah. And then I just feel like doing something else. So I've come here and I think we're going to bake something and just hang out, which will be nice and i love coming around to see my little babies they get so excited don't you i so miss having a dog but brayden and i have had this discussion so many times like i don't think we're like ready to get our own dog just yet to be honest i wouldn't be surprised if we have kids before we get a dog and i know that might shock some of you guys but like i just feel like i don't know i want a dog but it just doesn't, doesn't feel like the right time like we can enjoy our family's dogs and we can enjoy our friends dogs you know but I miss them. Murphy, are you nearly five? It's nearly your birthday. Another reason I don't think we'll get a dog like soon is because we would have no idea what breed to get. Brayden and I haven't found like one that we both agree on because like we both like heaps of different types of dogs, but there's just too many options. I love pugs, although I don't know if I'd want my own pug i'm not sure but brayden likes bigger dogs like a border collie or something we've got the fire on you wouldn't believe that it's spring it's so cold today this is murphy's favorite spot by the fire isn't it you look cozy with all your toys hi and then lily's back now and we're gonna make cinnamon scrolls vegan cinnamon scrolls which is actually really quite easy we're like oh we feel like baking something but just like something that's not too complicated but also is a bit like different so that's what we're gonna make. I'll link the recipe down below that we're following, but all you need is vegan butter. So another lex, some dry yeast, almond milk, cane sugar, salt, and flour. Three tablespoons of vegan butter. So you're just gonna melt that for 30 seconds. Then we sprinkle our yeast. And then we get to this ready. No, don't put her there. Oh, will she let me pick her up, do you reckon? Oh yeah! She never lets me pick her up. Okay, so now we've got to add one tablespoon of sugar. And we also need to sprinkle in the yeast. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> we got the limo out front. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh, Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs They smell actually insane oh, it's hot, really hot in the middle this was literally seven ingredients. I'll link the recipe down below. We didn't make any icing just because we don't have icing sugar. Do you actually like it? Yeah. I feel like it tastes kind of healthy. Yeah, and I'm not mad about them. It's not. Quite light. Mm. I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in more in conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself I'm gonna now. 
Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. Thought I'd pick up the camera again today. I went for brunch this morning with the Jesses, which was really nice. And the rest of the day is going to be spent running errands. Hey, Brayden. Brayden is here. <laughs> We're just currently sitting in the car because I wanted to quickly do my makeup because I didn't have time to do it this morning because we slept in a little bit. And I was like, I just feel like I want to put on a little bit because I'm feeling quite tired and it just like makes me feel more put together sometimes, you know? So I've got it in my little travel bag. How cute is this travel bag? It's going to be so perfect for when we go away to Hawaii. This is from Benefit. But I thought this would be a good opportunity to give you guys a little brow update. As you guys know, if you watched my last vlog, I got my brows laminated, tinted, and waxed recently, which I really love. And so I've just been like very, very lightly filling them in with the Gimme Brow Volumizing Pencil, which has a spoolie side and then a little pencil side. And it's so easy. I literally just like brush them up sometimes i'll do that without even putting gel in them but they look the best i'd say when i put a little bit of gel in them because it kind of makes them hold their place but i just wanted to remind you guys as well that you can also enter the giveaway in this video as well so if you comment down below hashtag benefit brows and your instagram handle so i can contact you if you win then you'll be in the draw to win so you can comment on this video and the last one if you want to get double the amount of entries. And then I'm gonna randomly generate five winners and it is an Australian only giveaway, but you'll get a year's supply of the Gimme Brow Plus volumizing pencil. So definitely go ahead and continue entering. We're gonna head into the shops now, do our shopping. We've got quite a list. We're doing a lot of prep basically before we go to Hawaii and yeah. We just got home from the shops and we realized once we were there that a lot of the things that we needed to do, we could just do online. So we need to apply for an international driver's license. We need to get our travel insurance. I need to get a travel money card. I think that's it. But all we ended up doing was going and handing in my film so I can get my film developed and Braden bought some supplements from the health store. But now we're home. I've just heated up some leftovers. We went to Braden's family's house last night and we got Italian. And I'm like, is there anything better than having leftover takeaway the next day. I've never had this before, but it's called Spaghetti Primavera. It's so good. I thought I would have a glass of wine tonight. It's pouring with rain and it's just like a cozy Saturday night and I just feel like having a glass of wine, having rosé, which isn't usually like my wine of choice. I prefer like white, wine or Prosecco or red wine, but this is the only one we have. So I'm gonna have this and just have a chilled night by myself because Brayden's actually gone out tonight and I really, really wanna make a vision board. That's something that I've been wanting to do for a little bit. I'm really annoyed though, because I actually bought a cook board like years ago and made a vision board, but I think I've got rid of it. Like I think I've got rid of the cork board so I can't make a physical one, but I'm thinking maybe I can do like a digital one and maybe put it as like my phone lock screen and my laptop background and things like that. If you watched my last video, I did like a little catch up with you guys and let you know that I've got like a few new goals and I feel like it could be good to make a vision board based around that. So I'm gonna make dinner tonight with you guys as well, have my wine and then we'll make my vision board, which I'm really keen to do. I just feel like that seems so relaxing and I might start a new show. I've been really wanting to watch Gilmore Girls because I've heard so much about it. I think especially since over in like America and UK and stuff, it's now autumn. So everyone's like watching Gilmore Girls because like they're trying to get more cozy. I think it must be a very autumnal show or something. I'm not sure, but I've never seen it. And I know we're going into spring in Australia, but right now this weather is so rainy it kind of makes me want to watch something cozy. So I might do that. Oh wait, no, no. There's a new episode of the Kardashians. I'm going to watch that first. Let me know if you're watching the new season of the Kardashians. I thoroughly am enjoying it. I'm going to make Aussie spiced chicken schnitzel tonight for dinner. So I might actually watch the Kardashians while I do that and then we'll get into the vision board making. <laughs> Okay, so I 
I realized that we don't have any eggs, so I couldn't crumb the chicken. So I've just used the roast seasoning and cooked the chicken, done some mash, and have some slaw on the side with mayo. Bring me, I will follow anywhere. Well, I'm Friday with Mr. Gator, so today we will pick up with Miss Kelly. I don't have my punch yet. Miss Kelly. And yet you don't have it done? Rory and Lorelai Gilmore. I think my fishing board is pretty much done. I feel like there's more that I can add to it over time, but I've already made it as my desktop screensaver and I'm gonna change it so that it fits the dimensions for my phone wallpaper as well. But as you can see, I've got a bunch of different photos of like some things I'm trying to manifest. I feel like you guys can interpret all of that stuff yourself. One photo that I've put on my vision board is this. I really want to dye my hair this color. I've been saying this for a little while, but I've been trying to find like the right color. I don't know if this is showing up on camera, but I feel like this is more strawberry blonde than like copper. I know I really want to do something different. And last time I went like a peachy color, I really loved it, but I love this color. I think I want to do it. Also update on Gilmore Girls. I've been watching it while I've been doing this and I love it. It's one of those shows that you can just have on and not like fully pay attention. It's just really cozy. I don't know, it's been nice just chilling here doing this and having this on in the background. Ooh. 